Hi, I'm Ron Spomer. In 50 years of hunting and shooting, I've seen an amazing evolution in rifle scopes. Believe it or not, rifle scopes were commercially available before the Civil War. They've been around a long time. Yet 50, 60 years ago, most American hunters were still using open sights. And then they moved to the 4X scope. And a 4X scope is not really all that powerful, although in those days we thought it really was. About in the 1970s, we started moving into these zoom scopes, where you could turn the power from 3X all the way up to 9 power, and that was really impressive. So the 4X scope gave way to that in the 70s and 80s. Nowadays, we're getting a lot more zoom in our scopes. This Swarovski Z5 scope zooms from 3.5 magnification all the way up to 18 power. That's huge, a five times zoom range. But look how small that scope is compared to this old four power. There's not that much more size to it. it doesn't weigh that much more. Against the three to nine, you're really not putting a lot more bulk or weight on top of your rifle. So. If a high zoom range scope like this isn't that much larger or heavier than the shorter ones, why not get one? But do you really need it? Well, if you want maximum versatility, you probably do. Look what you get. At three and a half power, that is considered a brush country close range scope. A white tail jumps up right in front of you. You've got a good wide angle of view for an easy shot. Good for running game. And as distance increases and target size decreases, you just turn up the magnification. And if you need to shoot a really, really small target or a really, really long distance, 18 magnification is going to get the job done for you. So if you're a one rifle shooter, or even if you've got several rifles and you want to switch the scope from one to another, you're going to be able to handle pretty much everything from big game close to small game really, really far and long range targets. Now, one thing you want to get in a scope that goes above 10 power is a parallax adjustment. It's essentially a focus. The higher the magnification, the more critical focus becomes. So to shoot under 100 yards, you need to dial that thing down to 50 or 25 or 70. And as the power increases, that becomes much, much more critical. This has a side focus, and it's the easiest one to reach up and grab on your rifle. Some of them have it up on the barrel. I prefer the side. Taken together, a scope like this can carry you through just about any hunting or shooting situation. It really is the ultimate in versatility. Scopes have definitely come a long way in 50 years, and now we've got zoom ranges that will do anything we need to do in the shooting world. I'm Ron Spomer, and for more information, check out ronspomeroutdoors.com.